Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so that was Dive by Nirvana. Um, another great song. And uh, conveniently, it's in standard tuning as well, so that does make life slightly easier, I suppose. No sort of weird tunings and all that kind of thing. Just standard tuning and everything is good. Um, it's from the Incesticide album, um, but I believe it was recorded in 1990, I think. And it might have been one of those tracks that didn't actually make it onto Nevermind, perhaps. Um, I could be wrong about that, but you know, either way, it's on Incesticide. So um, yeah, cool. Now, um, <clears throat> to begin with, we start off with a bit of a volume swell, and if you don't know what that is, you basically sort of pick a note and then slowly increase the volume. Uh, well, you start off with no volume at all on the guitar, you have the volume on zero, you pick a note and then you turn the volume up slowly. That's kind of known as a um, volume swell, I believe that's the technical term for it anyway. Um, so yeah, we start off with a volume swell on the uh, second fret of the A string and we give it a bit of a vi like vibrato as well and then we slowly turn the volume up. Um, I'll demonstrate it for you, shall I? <laughs> so basically what you do is, you turn the volume to zero, like that, and then you pick the second fret of the A string with a bit of vibrato and then slowly turn the volume up. Don't know if you could hear that. Yeah, <laughs> so um, yeah, that's kind of an interesting way to start the song off, I suppose. It starts it off with an initial bit of sort of tension, I guess you could call it, which is interesting and, um, you know, it's a really easy thing to do as well, so that's kind of cool. And um, conveniently, again, the drums give us a nice one-two as well, um, which is when the, just after that is when the main riff kicks in. Okay, so I'll play the main riff for you slowly, just so you can kind of get your head around it a little bit more, I suppose. It's not particularly difficult, but I'll just play it for you. So here we go. Yeah, pretty simple. And um, after we've played the main riff, we go into the verse. And just before we play the verse riff, we slide up to the 17th fret on the E string. And give it a bit of a bend, just again, for like added tension, I guess. And then we play the second fret on the E string, the first fret on the A string, and the second fret on the D string. And we go... Which again isn't too difficult, but you know it's, it's um, sort of unusual, I guess you could call it. So uh, yeah, it can be tricky, I guess. But you know, just try it a few times, and I'm sure you'll get your head around it nice and easily. Um, <clears throat> and then the, I suppose the pre-chorus just goes like this. Uh, and again. Again, not very difficult. And um, the rest of it, you know, there's not really much to it really. Just, um, you know, watch me play it a couple of times and look at the tabs and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> okay, so there's not really an awful lot else to say about this song really. It's um, pretty simple and um, that's if I played it right anyway. If I didn't, I do apologize, but I'm pretty sure I got it at least sort of relatively close. Um, there's not really much to it, so there's not really an awful lot you can get wrong, I guess. But um, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, sorry about my voice, I've been suffering with a little bit of a cold recently, so um, I uh, haven't posted a video for probably, I don't know, a week or two, something like that. I have already recorded Basket Case, um, but I haven't actually uploaded it yet. Um, I've been, I wouldn't say lazy, because I've been a bit ill sort of thing. Um, I've literally finished editing the video, you know, I played it and all that kind of thing, but I haven't done the tabs for it. And um, I tried doing it the other day, um, when I was off, off work sick kind of thing, I had like one day off sick, um, uh, 
so I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a sick note in that respect. Um, I took one day off work and I thought to myself, well, because I'm ill um, and I've got the day to myself, I'll just do the tab for it, just type it out. But like, it was kind of making me feel a bit kind of dizzy kind of thing, like focusing on the screen. So um, I kind of bailed out of that idea and I just bummed around the whole day, like me and my wife were just sitting around watching Vikings and stuff like that. Um, which was nice to spend the day with her, but I was, I felt like shit. <laughs> I was no good to anybody. <coughs> <coughs> nice. Um, yeah, and I'm still feeling it a bit now. So if I haven't played this perfectly, just blame it on the fact that my, that my bio rhythms are all out of whack and I'm uh, not 100%. So um, there's not really much else to say about it, to be honest. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and I should be posting Basket Case before this. I mean, I definitely will because that's the chronological order of how I've done things. Um, what I might do for my next video is play the intro to Basket Case just slowly for you because I actually forgot to do that on the previous video. Um, I don't know what happened to be honest, I was going to do it and then I didn't and I don't know why. Um, so I'll just do a short video of that, um, just the intro bit because it can be kind of tricky but that's not what this video is about whatsoever, this is a completely different topic. Um, I'm just rambling now, sorry, I'm, I'm still a bit fucked up. <laughs> I'm, I'm like still a bit of a mess kind of thing. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and if you did, feel free to hit like and subscribe and all that awesome shit that people like to do. Uh, take it easy guys, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. And hopefully I won't have a cold anymore. Not that I'm banging on about it or anything, you know. Um, yeah, take it easy guys. Peace. <laughs> uh.